Hey guys, so it is day two of working on the porch. As you guys seen in the last video, we got two pulls up. Today we wanna to get four more pulls up, so two on each side, let those sit in the cement. Then the next day, we will start to add more. So right now I am building up a fire so we can sew shuki bomb. I think I'm saying that right. Um, the rest of the logs. And yeah, it's been a great morning so far. I picked some blackberries on my run to put in our oatmeal. Beautiful day, it's sunny. They say it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we're just soaking up the sun right now. So yeah. Are you gonna help me build this fire? Sure. Sure. The fire. Do you have a hot dog? Oh, no, we don't have any hot dogs. Do you have marshmallow? We do not have any marshmallows. This is the lentil shaking dance. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah! Pretty soon this will be a porch. And secretly I'm kind of sad to take away the pallet stairs, but I'm not. <laughs> it's the end of an era when the pallet stairs disappear. Yeah. Hey, tell them about that bear. Tell them about that bear. So we saw a bear. Like super close to the yurt. Yep. Right What's his there. name going to be? I think we should name him Karma the Bear. Karma? Karma. I like how we name everything. It's called. We legit name everything. Anthropomorph. Anthro. Pomorphize things. Pomorphism. We put human traits on non human things. Like vehicles and. Yeah. 
Let us know what we should name this bear. I say karma. All right. I don't have a name. But what do you guys say in the comments? Because maybe I'll we'll take... no name bear. That'd be good. Have the YouTube audience vote and whoever gets the most votes. So DM us on Instagram. Vote in the comments down below. Whatever name we see the most of, we'll name our new black bear friend that, who I scared away. We want to enjoy the bears, but when they come into our camp, they'll get into like a habit of coming here all the time and we just gotta like defend our place, you know what I mean? Like it's majestic and it's amazing and people are gonna hate on that, but like we have to, I don't wanna shoot them, but I wanna like teach them like this is Nicole and Jake's, that's the bears. <laughs> I'm gonna get them. And also give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with it. down a little more. Here, why don't you do that side? I'll hold this one. It's good. Okay, tie that right there, perfect. <clears throat> tie it and you can double check it once it's tied. Yeah? Yep. Okay, cool. Who does it better with the plaid, the ripped jeans, and the hat? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, now fight to the death to get out of the box. <laughs> ah! <laughs> move it to your left. Don't move there. Okay, I'm going to ninety. Oh. It 
if uh, if it holds me up without any other boards around it, then I say it's strong. Because the final deck will have extra supports Look here. At this thing. The weight will be dispersed over it. So if it can hold all of me, then I think it's pretty good. Not even wavering, huh? Mm -mm. Not even moving. Concrete bags. Yeah, they burn awesome. Yeah. To Shosuki Bomb. Which Shosuki Bomb is, we already shown it a few times, but people still ask in the comments, like, why I get, I've gotten a dozen Instagram DMs this week to my Instagram, like, why are you burning the logs? To char the bottoms to prevent it from molding. It makes it stronger. Or bug infestation. So it's like putting on like a coat of like the chemical stuff that you, we paint on. A we're sealer. just doing it naturally. Like a sealer, yeah. So we're doing it the natural way. And it's called Shosuki Bong because it's from Japan. And now I'm getting smoked out. <laughs> we need to go for a Japanese lesson so we can pronounce it better. Because I speak uh, Putonghua, but not Benwin. I don't speak Japanese. We're gonna add a few stilts in the middle of the front porch to just give it a little bit more stability. So we're looking at like a, like about a 16 inch gap between each support board. And we're gonna just make sure these boards last a long time by burning them, charring them. And over time, we'll make sure we, we're burning these bags right now, but it's 99% of the time wood for cooking and whatnot. So we'll use all this ash for our compost in our garden. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One thing I invested in before we left your parents' home was a whole box of these marshmallows, like 20 yeah. packs. I think we left them all in Oregon. We can't find them, but or we just might have eaten them all and we just don't know. So like cooking a fire like this and inside the woods so every night, we have no vegan marshmallows. A vegan marshmallow is just sugar-based and no gelatin. If any of our YouTube fans or any of our patrons out there want to send vegan marshmallows, in the package sealed, not like just individual. <laughs> if you want to send some vegan marshmallows to our P.O. box, it's down below in the description. We will love it and we'll definitely eat them on camera. Yeah, yeah, we miss vegan marshmallows. Does anybody love us out there? Then <laughs> supply us with vegan marshmallows. I think like Matt makes a comment about marshmallows every day. He's like, oh, I wish we had marshmallows. And I'm like, stop Did it. Did you find marshmallows? You are grounded. <laughs> No, we're saying Did we're I asking. Hear marshmallow? We're asking are the you, YouTube are audience. Are you roasting though. marshmallows? Even Amy, the other day we were building a fire. She's like, "Do you have marshmallows?" I was like, "No." <laughs> Matt, we're asking the YouTube audience if they really care about our show to send us <laughs> vegan marshmallows to the PO box. Oh my God! Yes. You might make Matt cry. I'm I think I'll cry. <laughs> no, but personally for me, if any of you do send, there's a company called Dandies. Dandy's does really good vegan marshmallows with other ones as well. And if anybody sends any, I will seriously give you a shout out on my Instagram or Facebook. Um, and I'll just be really happy, so. Yeah. No, if you guys sent them, I'd really appreciate it and we totally love it. Because nobody in our town has any vegan marshmallows. You can't find them. Yeah. Still cooking fire going. What are you cooking for us today? Chapati. Chapati? Is that like roti? Kind of. Are we doing like uh, chapati and chana and samosa? No, we're doing chapati... Sandwiches. Sandwiches. So you're going to make the chapati bread. American style with a Indian twist. But I'm making the chana tomorrow morning. Yeah. Do I look weird with my butt hanging out like this? No. Oh, okay. It's our first time using the keyhole. So I'm hoping that the keyhole, the rocks are high enough where when I put this on top right now, that was what I was hoping. Now there's an airspace underneath and Nicole will have like a hot part and then like a warm part of the cast iron, uh, what's it called? Cast iron... Skillet? Skillet? Grill. Grill. <laughs> you look so excited. This is my second time ever making this, so again, don't judge me in the comments, please. Hey, um, what did you do? What's in this? Just flour, water, pinch of salt, and a little bit of um, vegetable oil. You look very um, like outdoorsy, hunter style, and redneck with that 
Pacific Yurt's hat on. Oh. Like ready to pull some dip out of your pocket and shoot deer. <gasps> I had the camera lens in my pocket. You got a lot of comments about that in the last Everyone's video. Like, is she dipping? And I'm like, really? Like, no, I don't <laughs> dip. That's my camera lens. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. So flour, salt, water. Um, and a little bit of oil. And then you let it rest? Yep, you let it rest for 15 minutes. And then you roll it out like this. Then I'm gonna, I'll show you the rest here when I'm done. And I don't have like a legit roller, but this works. That's like a mortar pestle. Yeah. I like that charcoal on there. Nice. We're we gonna keep it like this so we have to balance every time we get up. Maybe. Yep. Okay, all we gotta do now, we have to go get a bunch of boards and lay them on top and then I'll cut them to size. Cool, can you walk me to the door, sir? You're good up there by the support, should be okay. I got the, I got the door. I got the door. Okay. <laughs> I just need to get inside to my kids, okay? Okay, boards. We should put this one by the door. Oh yeah. Let's get boards. There's boards. Boards. Boards, boards, and more boards. Next time on Jake and Nicole Living Off Grid, we make one last push to chop and dry our winter firewood. Jake ferments his best kimchi yet, and we get ready to complete the wraparound yurt deck and build a cob oven. Are you serious? One more time. Subscribe and stay tuned. <laughs>